New at six, the family of a CMS first grader is asking for answers after they say she was placed on the wrong bus and left to find her way home. Valentina Perdoma's family says the seven year old wandered down Nations Ford Road, asking for help from strangers to contact her mom. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris spoke to family members who are wondering how this could even happen. The family of a seven year old girl say she walked about half a mile from her school down busy Nations Ford Road to this spot before finally finding a way to call her mother. The family thankful this situation turned out OK, knowing it could have been much worse. When Valentina Perdomo's family sent her to school Monday at E.E. E. Waddell, there wasn't a worry in their minds. You send your kid to school because school is a safe place and you expect them to be home safe, but no one at the school made sure of that yesterday with my sister. Her brother Altieri Lopez says a teacher put his first grade sister on a bus after school yesterday, only for Valentina to be told to get off because it was the wrong bus. Lopez says his sister told him there were no more buses or teachers around by then. So she started walking down Nations Ford Road. And she decides to keep on walking straight because she figures eventually she'll find the house and uh, our, our home. And she says the whole time she was crying and she told us that she thought she was never going to see us again. When Valentina almost reached I-77, her brother says she asked a man for help. And the man took her to this Burger King nearby where two women let her call her mom. My worst fear is that she could have been kidnapped or like, you know, also there's a lot of cars on the road at any given time of the day. And she said she crossed the road like three times trying to figure out which way to go. When asked about this incident, a CMS spokesperson said in a statement, the school was aware of the situation yesterday and spoke with the family. The school and transportation are investigating what may have happened. Lopez thankful his sister is safe. The school told us like, we're so sorry, this will never happen again, but it wasn't supposed to happen in the first place. The family hoping no other child ends up walking alone along this road. Valentina's brother said they didn't get to thank the man who helped his sister along this road yesterday and want him to know they are grateful for his kindness. In Southwest Charlotte, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.